Okay, so uh, here's an example of a perfectly inelastic collision, the type in which the two objects collide. There's a power supply that pumps air into this track, and then when I put a glider on, give it a little push. You can see how it moves with very little resistance until it hits the end. When there's a external force when it collides with the end of the track. But um, remember that momentum is only conserved for closed and isolated systems. So the air track is a way in which we make the system isolated, right? Okay, so if I change some of the attachments on the gliders, um, I can make sure that the objects stick together. There's an attachment that has a really sharp needle on it. And then my other glider gets an attachment that has, uh, it's like a cylinder packed full of clay. So when the needle goes into the clay, whoosh, there's a, uh, well, there's a pretty good resistive force like friction uh, that converts some of the mechanical energy of the collision into thermal energy as the needle rubs against the clay. So there's a loss of mechanical energy, which makes the collision inelastic as opposed to elastic, and furthermore, they stick together permanently, so it makes it perfectly inelastic. I think that's the right language. So, uh, in this case, the gliders are of equal mass, at least we'll start them out that way, and we'll see what happens when one glider at rest collides with another glider that's in motion, and then the two of them stick together. Let's see. Okay. So glider one is in motion, glider two is at rest, and I'll make up a number to say, when I push it that hard, let's just pretend that that's right here, 10 meters per second. So I think it's easy to convince yourself that if I have a mass of one, right, we'll just say there, this mass is one and this mass is one, so when one unit of mass traveling at 10 meters per second collides and sticks with this one, now it becomes two units of mass moving together. So for the momentum to be the same, it would have to move with half the original speed of this glider. So if I have a mass of 2m going at 5 meters per second, that's as much momentum as a mass of 1 going at 10 meters per second. So I just want you to see if that looks about right. If the speed seems to drop to about a, um, a factor of one half the original speed once they stick to one another. Here we go. Okay, let's try it one more time. This time we'll add a bunch of mass to the stationary glider. The rule is the total momentum after the collision has to equal the total momentum before the collision. I'm going to scoot the camera back a little bit. Okay, so this time the speed uh, dropped to even less than one half the original speed of the one that was in motion, but the momentum after the collision is still the same as it was prior. Again, as long as the track is blowing air so that the system is isolated and as long as no moving parts fly in or out so the system remains closed.